Hello again, 3D printer friends. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the keychain lesson today. So I am on my Tinkercad dashboard. I'm gonna go up here to learn to get to our lessons. I've already completed all of these starters that gave me my basic skills. So now I'm gonna click on lessons and I wanna click on see all lessons to open it up. Okay, once it loads, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom row and I'm gonna to go to key ring letters. All right, so I'm gonna do this walkthrough twice in this video. I'm gonna do it once with the name that they put on there just to learn how to do it. And then I'm gonna redo it with my name because I want a keychain with my own name on it. Okay, so here's our project overview. In this project, you will learn to make a key ring using letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. All right, start by dragging the letters to the red base. Okay, so we have all these letters we're gonna put here and you can see that the outline says Katie. I'm gonna make Katie first and then make my own. To make positioning the letters a little easier, change the snap grid setting from one to 0.25. All right, so I'm gonna do that down here. Remember that the snap grid setting allows you just a little more precision where you're placing things when the number is smaller. Number three on our directions over on the side, after placing a letter, the arrow keys on the keyboard will let you nudge the letters in any direction. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting the letters to spell Katie. And I can zoom in if it makes it easier. I can look from the top view if it's easier. Whatever makes it easiest for you to complete this project, you should go ahead and do. Okay, so I've got the K. I'm gonna roll that inspector up because he's in the way. Move my work mat a little bit. Okay, so I've got the K. Now I wanna get the A. I'm gonna grab my T. I'm gonna get my I. And I'm gonna get my E. And I'm gonna purposefully put the E in the wrong place. Okay, so when I see it from above, I see that they're all where they should be except for that E. So I'm going to click on my E, and I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard now, and I'm just going to nudge it back in place. And I can see that, oh, it still needs a little bit of love, so I'm going to nudge it a little bit more. And I can see that it's over, but I want to move it down a little bit. Okay, so now that E is a little bit more where it should be, and I can go back to home view if I want to check, and yeah, it looks pretty good, so I'm going to go to the next step. All right, now it says resize the red base. So we want to follow the directions. Remember, these directions are always here to help you step by step. So number one, it's easy to resize the base using the black dot on the right side of the model. Click on the shape to select it, then drag the black dot until the red base matches the size of the letters. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the red base and I see here is that black dot on the right. So I'm gonna grab the black dot, I'm gonna left click and hold, and I'm gonna drag this red base to match the size of the letter. So now I don't have this extra bit of keychain hanging off of the end. So now my keychain matches the length of the name. All right, clean up. Now do a little cleanup work by removing any leftover letters. So number one is telling us what to do. You can click and drag your mouse across all the letters to select them, then press the delete key on your keyboard to remove the letters. Okay, so I'm gonna use that marquee select where I click my left mouse and I drag, and then I'm just gonna delete all of them because I don't wanna print all those letters. They were just there for help. Now click to the next step. Okay, so now we have to group them, which we should remember from our previous lessons. We want to select all the remaining shapes. So I'm going to marquee select again, and I'm going to group them together. If you're unsure of which button it is, remember you can hover and it will tell you. So I'm going to group them together, and they should all turn the same color. All right, so now they are all red. They are all in one piece. I can move the whole thing, and it's not going to come apart. So I'm going to click next, and I've got my confetti. I did it right. But now I'm gonna reset my progress and I'm gonna make it with my own name. My name's not Katie. Why would I want a name tag that says Katie? So I'm gonna reset it so I can make it with my own name. All right, so those directions are still there if I need them. So I'm gonna start by dragging my name. So it still says Katie, but I am just going to ignore that. So my first name is Amanda, so I'm going to spell out Amanda. And again, I'm just going to ignore that Katie that's there. 
So I got A, M, I've got A again, so many A's. And I need my N. D. Oh, but look, now there's no A up at the top but I definitely need that third A for my name. So I'm gonna get this A here and I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm gonna take one and put it at the end of my name. So look at that, I'm using skills I learned in previous lessons to help me out. And that Katie is still there, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll see it in a second. All right, so now I wanna resize my base and I can go back to home view if that's helpful. So I'm gonna click here and the black dot I'm gonna drag over and I'm gonna resize it. So my keychain will be a little bit longer than Katie's because my name's a little bit longer. All right, so now clean up, I'm gonna get rid of all these extra letters. And then I know the next step, I'm gonna group them and that's really where I'm gonna be able to see how I did because I can get rid of Katie now. All right, so I grouped it and I'm just gonna move it. And yeah, my spacing looks pretty good. I've got my name. Oh, something went strange here. So I'm gonna ungroup. And I'm gonna shorten that name, that bed again. And then I'm gonna regroup. So anytime you see something like that, you can always ungroup and regroup to fix anything that might've happened. All right, so now I've got my Amanda keychain. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna add my name to the end of that file name so that when my teacher sees on the dashboard, she knows who it belongs to. So that is our key ring walkthrough. Thank you.